Hi there and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Actually there's been quite a lot happening overnight, not so much in the American markets but over in Europe and Euro over in Asia as well. So US markets kind of flat, volatile session, slight hammer formation with the candlesticks right here. Uh, nevertheless potential resistance still remains at 16401, potential support remains at 16. 178. If we then have a quick look at the UK 100, um, the UK 100 has, uh, has has moved slightly higher. We are trading above potential uh, support at 65.81. The next potential resistance is at 6666. Um, what I really actually want to show you is going to be the Germany 30. Now over in the eurozone of course of which the UK 100 is a part of but we don't adopt the euro um, they're talking about uh, this uh, EBC, uh, ECB rate cut and they've mentioned this quite a few times before previously uh, but now there seems to be a little bit more credibility that this is actually going to go ahead and happen and uh, as you can actually see now and we'll be looking at euro dollar in a minute which is um, which is completely reversed it's selling off quite strongly this morning you can see the US 30 there is at uh, the Germany 30 sorry is trading above 94.25 the next potential resistance is all the way at 97.89 uh, and this has had quite quite a strong uh, move upwards uh, over uh, since mid-March really and uh, on the interday charts the U Germany 30 is uh, is rallying strong, strongly this morning so uh, people are certainly taking it quite seriously. If we have a look at Japan 225 for a quick second um, you'll be able to see there that it's also moving quite nicely. Um, in fact if I look at one of my other screens right now I can see actually dollar yen is kind of sideways right now um, and we're seeing the shot in the arm and the reason for this is because over in China there are rumors that there is going to be monetary stimulus over in that side of the world. So we're actually seeing a lot of the Asian indices such as the, the Hong Kong 43, the China A50 um, and obviously Japan 25 has a lot of trade agreements with China as well and we're seeing that big move to the upside. However you'll notice that 21 period SMA is still acting as a kind of a block um, but we'll see if it manages to break above there later on today. Um, if we have a look at dollar yen just for a second um, you'll notice there that we are kind of drifting lower. Uh, it's been a sideways market since uh, about mid-March, inc incidentally, and we're not really getting a huge amount of uh, a huge amount of movement in the last couple of days. Uh, it's been uh, kind of unexciting, to be honest. Though yesterday we we did bounce off that potential support at one on one spot eighty. Um, but it looks like we are, we are getting this, this period of drift. So it looks like 101 spot 80 is going to be relatively strategic in the short term for dollar yen. So if we have a quick look at crude oil West Texas, which has had a good couple of sessions, but is now going, I was going to say it's now going a bit flat. On the interday charts on the other screen, I can see it's, it's in positive territory. But for the last um, <coughs> for the last couple of hours, it's just been kind of sideways. But looks like we're going to have a rechallenge of the potential resistance at 103. Um, that may act as resistance. That could be a potential breakout opportunity. Depends on where you think the US dollar is going to go and where you think crude oil is going to go. Um, but certainly, the last couple of sessions have been quite strong there. So uh, 103 is the level to watch. Um, gold continues its descent uh, as that stronger US dollar and uh, kind of risk risk on uh, as. Uh, Taking away the spark from gold a little bit. This has been a very staunch sell-off, actually. That's actually even surprised surprise me by how far it's actually come off. But we are trading below the 55 period SMA. We are trading below the potential support at uh, 1295. The next potential support is at 1267. Now we have had a bit of a bounce this morning, but it looks to be potentially capped by that broken support. Now expected to act as potential resistance. So 1295. We're just ever so slightly above it right now. This is the level for gold traders to have a look at today. You'll see the technical indicators are mostly, uh, that's just crossing the zero line, that's not yet oversold, that's just about to become oversold, but there isn't any reversal signals as of yet, just early warning uh, alarms, so to speak, that there could be a bit of a bounce, but um, 12.95 is a level to watch. Um, so Euro dollar, let's have a look at this because it's, uh, it's coming off more aggressively this morning. Uh, since about 3 a.m. this morning uh, as that ECB rate cut rumors swirl across the market but we are at the potential support at one spot 37.09 the next which is also the 55 period SMA and we are now looking at the next potential support if that breaks and closes below there the next potential support is at 36.45 any rebound next potential resistance is at 37.72 technical indicators are all neutral indicating that there could be extra room for maneuver if the sell-off continues okay so that gives you a bit of an idea of what's happening with euro dollar so cable is looking okay I can see intraday it's been a bit sideways eh, it looks quite different from euro dollar incidentally uh, we are capped look seemingly capped by this uh, 
potential cap this 21 period SMA. If we do continue to see an increase in the GBP, um, the next potential resistance is at 67.44 and reversal next potential support is at 65.19. So looking at the economic calendar, we do have UK GDP today. So that's gonna be quite interesting for UK 100 and cable traders. Then you do have uh, consumer confidence for the Eurozone at 10 a.m. UK time. Obviously, if you're a DAX trader or a Euro dollar trader, people will be looking at this today. Uh, this figure coming out um, uh, will kind of have a can either add or remove fuel from the argument for the ECB rate cut. Um, so it depends how it, how it comes in. It's forecast at minus 0 0.9. Uh, and the previous was at minus uh, 12.7, so it'll be very interesting. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna set my alarm on there, and guys, you should do, do that today as well. It's probably the biggest bit of fundamental data due out today, and um, you can see that later on in the US, at uh, 155, there is the sentiment index, Reuters University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey. Um, this is a red impact. It's probably worth you having a look at. Um, the fact of the matter is that Reuters actually give this to um, Reuters customers five minutes before uh, it comes uh, it comes out um, so a lot of the market movement will already have happened by the time this comes out so uh, we'll have to wait and see how that, how that pans out keep your eye on the chart form I can see a couple of CMC market clients are actually posting some analysis on there which is great and make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next